Well, the key to avoiding the time-consuming task of setting your units and other document properties each and every time you create a new document is to create templates. When you start a new document in SolidWorks, you're prompted to select Part, Assembly, or Drawing. In addition to specifying the type of document you wish to create, you're also selecting a template. To create a new custom template, I'll begin with the default part template. Before creating any geometry or sketches, I'll go to the Tools Options menu and make any necessary changes to the Document Properties tab. For this example, I'll change my units to feet and inches using fractions. I'll set the denominator to 16 and enable a setting to round to the nearest fraction. Although these are the only changes I'll make, keep in mind that any changes made in the Document Properties tab will be saved when the new custom template is created. I'll click OK to save my changes and dismiss the Options window. In addition to modifying document properties, you can also make other document-specific changes. For example, if you wish to show your default reference planes, or hide the origin, and you want these settings to apply to every new document you create, simply make the changes now before saving the new template. Once you've made all modifications, use the File Save As menu. In the Save As window, change the file of type to Part Template. When you do this, the destination directory automatically changes to the default location for SolidWorks templates. You can select any directory on your hard drive, or even a network directory if you wish. I'll save this template here in the default location, and in a moment we'll take a look at what's involved when saving to a different location. I'll give this new template a name, and click Save. The only purpose of this new part file document was to create a template. Now that I've completed that process, I can close this file, and saving isn't necessary. To use my newly created template, all I have to do is start a new document. The new document window appears, but it's displayed in novice mode where only the default part, assembly, and drawing templates are available. I'll click the Advanced button to reveal additional templates on my system, including the custom template I just created. When I use the new template, you can see the planes are visible, just as I defined earlier, and the unit changes I made have been preserved. Now in the case where you want to save your templates to a different directory, there's an additional step you must take. To demonstrate, let me save a new template. I'll make this one different by hiding the planes and setting units to the millimeter gram second system. In the Save As window, change the file of type to Part Template. This time, instead of saving to the default templates directory, I'll save it to my desktop. I'll call this template New Directory and click Save. When I start a new document, notice the template I just created isn't shown. I'll cancel the new document and go to Tools Options. In System Options, there's a category labeled File Locations. With document templates selected in the folder list, you can see the locations where SolidWorks will look to find templates. Since my desktop isn't part of this list, SolidWorks isn't finding the custom template I created. And to change this, I'll click the Add button, browse to my desktop, and click OK. I'll dismiss the Options window and create a new document. Now there's a new tab labeled Desktop, and the new directory custom template is available. When I select it and begin a new part file, you can see the planes are hidden as I specified earlier, and units are set to millimeter, gram, second. 